This is a 2008 Vauxhall Corsa with a 1.2 engine in it. It's failed MOT. The CO was way too high. At idle, the CO was 5%. There's no fault codes in the car. So it's going to look at the live data and see if we get an idea of what's not doing what it should be doing. I notice that when it's ticking over at idle, the fuel trim is really minus 25 and the short term and the long term was minus 5. Now I'm just looking at the throttle plate position to see if that's working properly. Just looking for inputs that would control the fuel trim. One thing that I noticed was the map is at 101 kPa, about one bar all the time. Whether the throttle plate shut or whether it's open. You see here, I'm revving the car up. I, this car doesn't have a mass sensor, mass airflow. It's only got a map, manifold absolute pressure sensor down there on the manifold itself, so I'm going to do some tests on that. Right. 1.5 volts, engine running, one bar. Okay. And then do the signal wire. Back of the engine. Do a test line. Connect to the ground. Just trying to balance it between, trying to see what's going on. One volt, that's zero volts, same pressure though. The pressure's not changed. Now we're going to bring the voltage up. Test light. Positive this time and put it to a slight burn into the signal wire. This has brought it up. 4.9 volts, almost 5 volts. Still at 1 kPa. I'm already thinking that the engine computer is faulty, it's not changing the map readings. But I'm just checking the map sensor anyway with a hose connected to it. And by blowing down the hose, seeing that I get a change on the voltage and sucking on the hose. So the sensor's working okay, but it, it's looking like it's the engine computer that's faulty. There's the vacuum on the vacuum gauge, and it's reading 20 inches of mercury. I'm going to blip the throttle. And it's changing, so I don't have a vacuum leak. Just checking it with a gauge. There, now I can read it. So today I am getting a change. Voltage is changing. That's with vacuum. And I flip it and I get no, less vacuum in there. The voltage goes up like it was before, and now the KPA is getting closer to uh, one bar. That's like 0 0.4, 0 0.3 of a bar. And that goes up to one bar. And I blip the throttle, and I snap the accelerator. I wasn't getting this before. I put both these over each other. That's fine. What I'm going to do now, now that they're both working, all I've done is gone over some of the soldering in, in the ECU. I didn't show it. I was actually looking for corrosion in the pins, and the corrosion was okay. 
no water damage in there. So whilst I was there, I just used the, the hot air and went over the pins inside the ECU. And since doing that, it's worked. It's working okay. Let me come out of here and check the fuel trims now. Right over there. Here's the readings and they're all okay. Today, short term fuel trim at the top. Long term fuel trim, the oxygen sensor is switching and it wasn't doing that before. It was staying rich. The map sensor at the right at the bottom. It's showing a, a reading which was stuck at one bar before. There's the barometric pressure. So I'll pick the revs up. This one looks like a fix, and all I've done is opened up the ECU when I didn't see any corroded wires. And I used a hot air dryer to get the back off the ECU because it's bonded on there. I didn't show it because I didn't have an extra pair of hands to hold the phone. When I opened it, and I just went over the pens to make sure there was no bad solders. And since doing that, it's all worked, so I thought I would share it anyway. Thanks for watching.